this problem is one of my favorites. It's actually in my personal uh, area of interest called set theory. This is the beginning levels of what I'm very interested in as a research topic. So we're going to write the set as a list of elements as opposed to what we call here set builder notation where we just describe a rule. So I did Josh Elston here. J, J is equal to, now this is read as the set of Z's such that, this vertical line is such that, Z is an integer, means no decimal, no fraction, and negative 1 is less than or equal to Z is less than 3. So, first we put the beginning set theory bracket, or the J Leno bracket, I like the call because it's got a big chin right there. So Z, Z has to be an integer, no decimal or fraction part, and Z needs to be in between negative 1 and 3, including negative 1, but not quite including 3. So the number negative 1 was acceptable because negative 1 is less than or equal to negative 1. So is the number 0 because that's in between negative 1 and 3. So is the number 1. So is the number 2. And notice that the number 3 is not accepted here because 3 is less than, 3 is not less than 3. 2 is less than 3, but 3 is not less than 3. So the final answer here would be the set containing negative 1, 0, 1, 2. Okay, pause the video and see if you can do the second example on your own. And assuming you've taken a shot at it, let's do it together. H is equal to the set of T such that T is an integer and negative 3 is less than t is less than 2. So this time, this would be equal to the set. We need the integers that don't have any decimal or fraction part and are located strictly between negative 3 and 2. So this time the left endpoint of negative 3 is not acceptable because we don't have equal to here, only less than. Negative 3 has to be less than t. So we'll start at the number negative 2 and start counting up negative 1, 0. Notice we'll include 1 also because 1's in that interval. And yet again, we do not include the right endpoint. 2 is not acceptable here because 2 is not less than 2. 2 is equal to 2. So this is where we have to end. And so this set would be negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1. 